My name is Miguel Olivares Mendez. I work in the Automotion and Robotics Research Group for the SNT and University of Luxembourg. In my free time, I love to cook and try recipes around the world, but especially I like to cook in my Weber barbecue. But the most important thing is to spend the most time as possible with my family. In my research, I work with unmanned aerial vehicles, also called drones. Drones has a pretty bad press because of the military use. But here in my research team, what we are trying to do is to apply drones for civil applications, like the inspection of wind turbines or search and rescue activities. My research is focused on making drones able to fly autonomously and solve different tasks, like for example, uh, follow vehicles or detect survivors. For doing this, I develop different algorithms and techniques that guide the drone in its surrounding. Firstly, we test all algorithms in a simulator and afterward, we go to test the, the algorithms in the lab. So here in the lab, we have a motion capture system that allow us to measure the position of the drone and also the environment. With the data acquired with this system, we can validate our algorithms and control techniques. Once everything is working, we go outside. So here we are where we do the auto experiments. I'm here together with my team to try to make the drone capable to do autonomous navigation. In this case, we are trying to do autonomous landing. For do this experiment, we set some markers on the top of the vehicle that are going to be detected by the drone. First, we start the drone manually, and when we uh, reach a certain height, we switch to autonomous control. In that moment, the drone starts to follow the van, the market on the top, and in a certain moment, start to uh, uh, the landing task. Okay, to make the drone capable to accomplish the landing task, we need to develop artificial intelligence algorithms. This artificial intelligence make the possibility that based on ways the location of the vehicle, the drone can make the decision of how much move to be on the vehicle. Of course, here in the real world, there are many issues that are not taken into account inside the lab. That, for example, the wind. That make the control system to be not that perfect as in the lab. We have to and readjust the parameter of the control system for be adaptable to real-world experiments. So why is that important that drones can land autonomously on Boeing vehicles? For example, in a search and rescue teams, the team can have a drone on the vehicle and then send the drone to survive a zone in the meanwhile that the vehicle is trying to survive another zone. In a certain moment, the drone has to come back because of the end of the battery and then can land on the moving vehicle. I hope that search and rescue teams all around the world can benefit from my research pretty soon. Mm -hmm.